the 80s wow best decade ever love the 80s had a great time heaps and heaps of toys were released that blew my mind i come from a family of four who didn't have heaps of money this is me believe it or not that's a little scooter look at me stupid haircut freckles gaps in my teeth and i'm around seven eight years old life was good playing lots of sport doing lots of things, but I had a gaping hole inside of me that I didn't understand what it was. It needed to be filled with something. Look, I got bikes, I was happy, I got golf clubs. I even got to walk around playing a stupid little flute, singing with a broom, there's my little flute, how stupid do I look? But I was happy, playing footy with my little brother, running races with my other brothers, there was four of us. We didn't have lots of money. I didn't understand why they had this hole in my soul either. It needed to be filled. Then 1981 arrived, and 1981 was the year that I knew what that hole needed to be filled with. 38 years ago, I found out this is it. What do we have here? It's Castle Grayskull. And it's mine. Not so fast, Beast Man. He-Man! You can pit He-Man against Beast Man playing for the power of Castle Grayskull. You have to put the castle together. Beast Man's escaping. The throne, Dad. Dad, you saved the castle. Castle Grayskull from the Masters of the Universe collection. He-Man and Beast Man each sold separately from Mattel. Okay, so now my young mind has been totally blown. I know what it is I have to fill that hole with, and it's Castle Grayskull. Have a look at that. Like, young kids went mental when they seen this. And can you blame them? Merman and Trapdew were my favourite, even though Trapdew was not there. But what a playset. What a thing you could have and just to yourself and go into your own world and just play the best games ever with He-Man and Skeletor beating the crap out of each other. But this is what it was in reality. The green around the edges effect, pretty cool, hey? Woohoo! We got this terrible looking thing. And my young mind instantly thought, they could have done so much better. Why is the roofs not painted? Why is there a window missing in one of the towers? Why is it all green and why does it look like someone just hit it with a spray gun with a bit of black for effect? I wasn't happy. So I waited 38 years to get one so I could do something about it. I even wanted an automatic drawbridge and lights that flashed and a sound card. Here we go. So Father's Day 2019, by far my most favourite Father's Day. Even though Father's Day is my most favourite day of the year, this one topped it. The girls got me this. 38 years later, I got the ugly looking grey skull and I knew what I had to do. So I went to work, customising and ripping into it. First thing I did was buy some insulation foam and build a brand new base to bulk it up. And from then on, everything went beautiful. Stay tuned. Enjoy the show. I'll talk to you at the end.
Many, many hours of working on this ugly looking grey skull. What? Had no paint detail in it whatsoever. I spent hours and hours cutting purse What? Painting, detailing, doing the door, setting up electronics, what? building a sound card, adding lights with a flasher. I ended up with this. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted when I was a child. And I've now got it as an adult and I feel like a child. So, to give you a rundown of what's happened here, I've added the extra side piece so we can stand figures on, like the newer Castle Greyskull that came out a few years back had. The top turret I've actually heated and extended more so it's rounder. It used to be really tight and small. I've cut an extra window in the tower that was there but wasn't there. I mean, it should have been there. I've added new rocks and moss to where I think it would be weathered and obviously weathered the tiles on the roofing and the timber and I've brought the detail out in the teeth and obviously done the door and I've done a bit of um, patina in the door as well just to make it stand out. Um, the electronics cost around Australian $100. There's a really low speed motor that runs a bit of fishing line that runs the door. I've put a lead weight in the top of the door to make the door want to fall. I also added a sound card, which is actually a greeting card, birthday card thing you add, and you can put your own sound to it. So the He-Man Master Universe I Have the Power is actually a sound card triggered by a button, which then triggers the strobe lights to run at a set interval. I then push a button on a two-way remote, which makes the door go down, and it also makes the door come back up. This is something I've wanted for a very long time something I am extremely happy that I've built and spent so many hours doing. Uh, it now proudly sits in the cabinet. I only have three Master of the Universe figures at this point in time. I have Stinkor, Buzz Off and um, Trapdoor. Many more to come I'm sure. So I am really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions guys please put them in the comments below. I'll answer as much as I can. Um, if you have any suggestions for this video or something you think I should have done more with Castle Grayskull, even if you lose your mind that I'd parent, some people will think this, that I have destroyed a vintage Castle Grayskull, put the comments in below. We all have our own opinions and I'm happy to talk about them. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to do the old normal things, the like, subscribe and comment. Um, the subscribe button is just on the left there and any other videos that are on this channel are up on the right. Click away, have a great time, and I'll speak to you soon. This is Scoot. Bye. <laughs>